Hello friends, Kishan is here again, again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few video series, we have been talking about the uh, JPA cascade types and we have talked about the various JPA cascade types. In this video, we are going to look, uh, which is almost uh, related to the uh, JPA cascade types only and that is called merge. So I have already created a project, it is called merge and update example and you can say this example is also related to what's the difference between merge and update method in uh, hibernate session interface right so it's pretty i mean this is pretty easy and uh, this is very important i would like to tell you this you can mark as a star or something like that now uh, let's let me show you what are the files i have created so uh, i have created a hibernate configuration file which uh, holds the all the information about the R database and uh, properties related to the Hibernate. Here I have a one entity class which I have registered over here. Uh, so this is our entity class which is which is binded with the employee table and which is having some fields, right? So that's all about this entity class. Now we have a utility class which we have created, which is basically responsible to return us a session factory. So you don't know how to create configuration file utility class and entity class then you can watch my previous video tutorial these classes and this configuration file this configuration file i had created from the scratch now we have a save data client test one of the client program and this is basically here i'm going to save data into my database so if you look into the configuration file i have given the hbm 2 ddl as update so once i'll run this program then table is going to create for us so if you go to the my database test database there is no table so now this is gonna create a database table for us and this will insert a single record into the database so let's run this application run as a java application and here if you see hibernate has created initially triggered that ddl query and basically we are applying uni unique constraint on the uh, in email so that's what you you, you, you see a altered query as well and finally hibernate has create, uh, created one record in one insert operation in the database if you go and refresh then you can see there is one record let's try to uh, insert one more record like uh, uh, I would say kk then kk and salary I'm going to specify as 50,000 and these are the things as it is and let's run this application and this will insert one more record into the database if you go I you go and refresh then there is one more record now now there is another client program which is very important and uh, and uh, this will clarify you what's the difference between basically merge and uh, update operation in hibernate now here you can see I have created a uh, one try block and second try block in first try block i have used uh, try with resources to create a session object in hibernate so we have a utility class hibernate util which is having a static method is called get session factory which returns us the session factory and uh, we are calling open session factory method on it and finally we are getting the session why we have to use try with resources because we don't want to close this resource in the finally block so if you use try with resources then once your session is getting used in an application then this is automatically gets closed because uh, this interface session interface basically extends auto closable interface and which is having the close method so that is automatically called by the JPM. now what we are doing over here we have declared uh, employee on the outside the outside of the try block and here basically i'm passing id1 as storing in this local variable and basically basically if employee exists with the id1 that means this is going to return for us so of course employee with id1 exists in the database so this will return us the employee and that's just we are printing over here now uh, now uh, after this try catch and after that when your control reaches over here then session will be closed and after that this clo after closing the session this object becomes the detach right so this object is no anymore associated with the session which we have created in this try block right so this is the detach object right 
and we are making some changes in the detached object we are basically trying to update his salary right so current salary uh, of this guy employee whose id is one is 90000 but let's make it 95000 so we are making some changes in the detached object and we are just trying to create on one new session in the another type block right so we are creating the new session and we are retrieving the same object right so here id you can see the both we are retrieving this object from another session and what we are trying to do in this session we are trying to update employee which is almost detached right so which was retrieved in the previous session so if you call the update method in this case then high one it is gonna throw an exception let me show you So see, Hyven is throwing an exception. Is going saying that none unique object exception, right? So at a time, Hyven session will be associated with the single object only with the same primary key. But here, this object is also having ID one, and this is also having ID one. So what's the resolution for this? Here, instead of using update you will have to use merge method and this problem is gonna solve you are saying hey hibernate i retrieved one object in the my previous session after closing that session i did some modification right you retrieve the same object now whatever changes i had done in in this object in the previous session i would like to merge with this then hibernate happily will merge this object and if you go refresh there is no change in the database it's still 90,000 if I run this application then merge is gonna solve this problem right now see update query has been fired and if I go and refresh then you can see salary is 9 uh, let me show you uh, now uh, there is some problem with my this tool table is not reflecting I don't know why okay so if i select then see salary is 95000 right that means salary is updated right so if you go to the merge then merge internally basically uses a cascade type merge right cascade type merge and because of this you are able to merge so this is a one of the cascade type as well right merge so let's recap all those things uh, what we have learned uh, let's uh, I'm going to brief it. Suppose we are creating a session and load an object, entity object. Now object in in uh, then object is in the session cache, right? And if we close the session at this point and we edit a state of the object and try to save using update, it will throw an exception, right? To make object persistence persistent we need to open another session now we load same object again in the current session so if we want to update present a state with previous object changes we have to use merge method merge method will merge changes of the both states of the object and will save in the database so merge basically if you want to save your modification at any time with without knowing about the state of and a state of a, a, a session then use merge in hibernate so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning this video so this code i'm going to check in the, on the github and github location you will get in the video description so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial